it's been a real bumper year for honey fungus. Just look at all of these here. Honey fungus is a very common mushroom that can be found from late summer and throughout autumn and it grows in these really dense clusters all over dead or dying trees and stumps. It can occasionally appear to be growing out of the ground nearby and that's because there'll be rhizomorphs or black mycelial threads under the ground all along here and then you'll get new clusters just pop up out of the ground. It's a good edible mushroom and probably quite underrated to be honest but some people do have an adverse reaction from eating it so just have a small cap like this if it's your first time trying it. I don't pick them once they've reached this mature stage. I prefer younger ones like this and this. The caps are fairly conical when younger, like this. And then they flatten out as they get older. They're generally between 5 and 10 centimetres in diameter. They do occasionally get to about 15 centimetres in diameter, but that's not very common. They get their name honey fungus because the caps are a lovely deep honey colour, especially on younger ones like this. And then they get a bit paler as they're older. And they've got a dark spot in the centre of the cap. They can have scales in concentric circles on the cap, especially on younger ones. But that's not always present. And on older specimens the margin usually gets quite wavy and you get striations along the margin. The gills are crowded, they're attached to the stem and usually slightly decurrent. You can see they run slightly down the stem. The gills are off-white to yellowish when younger. And on older ones they get darker, almost the same colour as the cap. The stems are quite long and they're roughly the same width all the way down. They're a pale yellow to light brownish colour when younger. And then they start getting darker to a very dark brown when they're really old. They have a skirt-like ring right at the top of the stem also known as a superior ring. And a key ID feature for this mushroom is if you look at the underside of that ring, it's got a really pale yellow colour around the edge. Can you see that little band of yellow running around the ring there? flesh is white and firm and they have a fairly indistinct mushroomy smell. The spores are off-white to a creamy colour and you can often see the spores on the caps of the mushrooms that have dropped from the mushroom above. Honey fungus is also known as bootlace fungus because of the black rhizomorphs that can be 
spreading underground or just under the bark of dead and dying trees. Those rhizomoths do look like bootlaces. Honey fungus is both parasitic and saprobic, so it can infect healthy trees and feed off them, eventually killing them. And then it also helps to break down dead organic matter. When foraging honey fungus, the main mushroom to be wary of is the funeral bell, which is deadly poisonous. The funeral bell is smaller and it doesn't grow in dense clusters like this. And it has quite an unpleasant smell. Of course, if there's any doubt, then just don't consume it. Another check to do is a spore print because honey fungus, as I said, has off-white to creamy spores, whereas funeral bell have rusty brown spores. So if the mushrooms are dropping whitish spores like this, then you can rule out funeral bell. 